Hey folks, in this bag we have another bag, but inside this bag we have an Arduino Pro Micro. Actually, it's a clone of the Pro Micro, but you'll notice there are a lot of clones like this available on Amazon. And this board completes what I call the Triforce of Cheap MIDI Microcontrollers. Anytime I get a new microcontroller board like this, one of the first things I do is create a random MIDI note generator. In this video, we'll start by making a simple random note generator, and by the end, we'll have a board that creates full ambient tracks. Let's get started. <laughs> On the blue mat, we have three of the most popular microcontrollers for making cheap MIDI controllers. First up, the ESP32. This board can send MIDI over Bluetooth, although newer models can now send MIDI over USB. The ESP32 comes in many form factors, from tiny boards made by Seed Studio to ones with built-in displays like the CYD. I made a video on the CYD recently, so check that out if you're interested in making a Bluetooth MIDI controller with a display. Next we have the Raspberry Pi Pico. It comes with a bunch of pins and built-in USB MIDI capabilities. Raspberry Pi is a reputable name and they're best known for their low-cost computer-on-a-board products like the Raspberry Pi 3, which I used in my Minidex build. And finally, we come to the Arduino Pro Micro. This board is a favorite among music tech tinkerers because of its low cost, built-in MIDI over USB support, and easy integration with the Arduino IDE, the program used to write and install sketches onto your device. Arduino is the OG of microcontrollers. They have a solid lineup of boards depending on your needs, and since the platform is open source, it's paved the way for many of the devices we have today. Of course, there are more options out there like the Teensy line, which offer more capabilities, but those upgrades come at a cost. Now onto the build. Since we're just making a note generator, all we have to do is connect it to our computer. And we're done. Wow. Well, not quite. The board isn't doing anything yet, so we'll need to open up the Arduino IDE, install some libraries, and then we'll be able to use it. For this example, I'm adding Arduino's USB MIDI library and the Control Surface library. So let's start with the simplest random MIDI note generator script we can make. Here our loop continuously picks random notes between C3 and C5. It plays each note for 500 milliseconds, then moves on to the next one with a 100 millisecond delay in between. And after we've selected our board and port, once we install the sketch, it should just start firing off MIDI notes automatically. Now that we have everything working, we can start expanding on the idea. Instead of playing entirely random notes, we can limit it to the key of C. We'll also randomize the duration of our notes, and we can add a chance feature so that the note doesn't play every time the loop comes around. In your DAW that you're sending MIDI to, you can increase the attack and release time of notes to make it sound a little more seamless. Currently the only MIDI data that we're passing is over the first channel, but we can add a second channel and have that go to a separate instrument. We'll also change the note logic so that we can hold out lower notes and have the higher notes play quicker in a melody. While we want to keep things feeling random, we can add in chords and some repeating sequences to make things start to feel more like a song.
And after some time of expanding and experimenting with different ideas, here's the final result. And that's it. Let me know down in the comments what kind of MIDI microcontroller projects you're working on and feed the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>